Remember when The Curse of Oak Island Season 5 premiered, and we all were so excited for the treasure to be finally found. That season averaged a massive 5.4 million viewers per episode, and everyone was so hyped for it. Even rumors circulated that the treasure box was really found, and viewers eagerly awaited to be shown in the upcoming episodes. Yeah, that didn't really end well. It's been 10 seasons and over 160 episodes now, but they still haven't been able to find the supposed treasure that's hidden there. So, many have started questioning, is there even any treasure on Oak Island? But first, let's see the history behind how the treasure rumor even started. In the 18th century, a dying sailor who was a part of the Captain Kidd crew said, there was allegedly a hidden treasure worth two million pounds buried on the island. And with this story, one of the oldest running treasure hunts began. The treasure is said to have been hidden in a particular spot, now dubbed the Money Pit. It was apparently found by Daniel McGuinness, one of the settlers, which was in the print of 1857. Seemingly, he noticed an oval-shaped recession in the ground, and after seeing this oddity, he started digging into it. He hit the wooden planks every 10 feet, indicating that it was man-made and something must have been hidden there. From then on, many excavations, both small and at major scales, have been carried out to find hidden treasures on the island. One of those groups was the Old Gold Salvage Group, which even housed the famous American president, Franklin D. Roosevelt, as a fellow member. However, they couldn't find any treasures there. Roosevelt did monitor and continued to follow the developments of the island's treasure hunts until his death. Other notable excavations were made by William Chapel, the Restall family, Trident Alliance, Robert S. Young, and the Michigan Group. Those searches have been over a century now, and still, all of them have mostly returned empty-handed. This puts a big question mark on the reality of the treasure. If we give it the benefit of the doubt, then there's also a supposed requirement for treasure in order for it to be found. It's said that a curse was placed on the treasure more than a century ago, which states that seven men will die in the search for the treasure before it is found, until now six deaths have already happened. This might be how the show got its name from the curse of Oak Island. Let's explore those deaths. The first of the six deaths occurred on the island in 1861 during a major excavation. Reportedly, a pump engine boiler burst in the fall of that year, which ended up killing the man. The death was mentioned in the 1863 novel named Rambles Among the Blue Noses, but its mention was only made five years after. The second death happened on March 26, 1897, but this time Maynard Kaiser, one of the workers on the island, fell to his death. Then in 1959, Robert Tree Stahl along with his 18-year-old son and his work partner, Carl Grazer, came to Oak Island in search of the treasure. Six years later, they tried sealing a storm drain in Smith's Cove by digging a shaft down to 8.2 meters or 27 feet. And on August 17th of the same year, Robert Tree Stahl began suffocating from hydrogen sulfide fumes while he was down the shaft. Then his son went down there, but he also lost consciousness due to the strong odor of the gas. Seeing this, Carl Grazer tried to save them with the help of two other people, Kirill Hiltz and Andy Dmon, but they also found themselves in trouble. Finally, Edward White came to the rescue and carefully lowered himself down the shaft on a rope to save those men. Unfortunately, he was only able to bring out Mon and save him. Carl Grazer, Hiltz, Restall, and his son, all four of them died there, bringing the total number of deaths that have happened on the treasure hunt to six. There are those who really believe the superstition that the seventh death needs to happen before the treasure is found. Whether it's true or not remains to be seen, but we remain skeptical about this. Aside from the curse, what has really puzzled the people is that there are many mysteries on Oak Island, and that's why it has garnered so much attention. One of the mystery is the mysterious markings that was found inscribed on a stone some 90 feet below the surface. It was found in the latter half of the 1800s and was the subject of the topic in various articles and novels. Those markings are first said to have been deciphered by James Lichty, who translated it as, 10 feet below are 2 million pounds buried. Similarly, a researcher several years later translated them into 40 feet below, 2 million pounds lie buried. 
And this single sentence is how people really started believing that treasure might actually be hidden in Oak Island. Edward Rosenau, a historian and explorer, hugely popularized this mystery when he associated it with 40 feet below in his 1949's book, True Tales of Buried Treasure. Another popular mystery is known as the water in the money pit. This says that an elaborate drainage system that extends from the ocean beaches to the money pit has been deliberately man-made. A written account was made that during the Onslow Company's expedition in 1862, the pit became flooded with seawater up to 10 meters, and any attempt at removing the seawater was unsuccessful. Along with such mysteries, there have also been many theories that try to explain these things. The most plausible theory is that the pit was formed by a natural sinkhole, which is probably connected to the limestone passages or caverns. Various mentions of booby traps can also be attributed to these sinkholes. But not everyone likes such anticlimactic explanations. They wanted to hear some treasure-related theories. So here are some other speculations that you might want to hear. As mentioned, the earliest theory is that Captain Kidd buried treasure together with Henry Avery because they made Oak Island their community bank. In other accounts, Edward Teach, or better known as Blackbeard, is said to have buried his treasure there where none but Satan and myself can find it. In another instance, Templars, Masons, or Incas may have dug the pit and buried their treasure in order to hide it away from the Spanish conquerors. British people may have also created the pit to store the loot they acquired during the Seven Years' War. Other treasure theories include the French hiding the treasury of the fortress of Louisbourg, Spanish sailors holding treasure from a wrecked ship, a Masonic hidden vault with a sacred treasure, the list goes on. But perhaps the most intriguing one is that the pit was made by the exiled Knights Templar, one of the most popular military orders, who were fantasized about by many people even now. It's said that it might hold the legendary Holy Grail or the Sacred Dark of the Covenant. Bet this got you excited to at least some degree. In hopes of finding such treasures, there have been numerous searching done by various people and companies alike over the past century. But almost all of them proved unsuccessful, with only a few findings to show for it. Now the treasure hunting on Oak Island has been mostly carried out by Rick and Marty Lagina. Their journey has been documented in the TV series The Curse of Oak Island, which airs on the History Channel. The Lagina brothers have been searching for over a decade now, and similarly, the TV series has also been running for several years now, nine years to be exact, as its first episode aired in 2014. They are always just one more episode away from, quote, end quote, really finding it, but they never do. This is the sentiment that many of us have experienced and are already kind of fed up with. Most people already realize this, and they still watch the show out of their curiosity or just because they have grown attached to it. What's certain is that there really are treasures in Oak Island, but that is only if you are the History Channel making a mountain of profits off of the viewers. And that's it for the video. What do you think about the curse of Oak Island, both the show and the death rumor? Do you think they will ever find the real treasure hidden underneath? Do comment on what your thoughts are. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video and stay tuned for more.